my, my mom is, but she'll come and you guys can fill her in. Um, because I think we need to get this party started. <laughs> yeah. So first let me say that the last four years have been probably the best in my life. And I've had a pretty good life, thanks to my mom. Um, it's been the best years of my life because of all of you. Because it hasn't been easy, but it's been fun. It certainly hasn't been a walk in the park, but boy, have we gotten things done in these last four years. And there, are, there are just way, way, way too many people to thank uh, because nobody does this by themselves. Nobody does this by themselves. Okay, boy, did we fight four years ago, and every single step of the way, we fought for every issue we've ever put on the table. We fought for every vote that we got this past election, and it's because of the hard work of many, many, many people. And you guys are standing here in the room today. So what are we fighting for? We are fighting for a city that is built on a strong foundation. We are fighting for a city that believes that we can do better than how we've been treated the last few decades where you've been given bullet points and sound bites and you haven't been invited in to do the real hard work to make a true difference in the city. Because I'm looking around and none of you are afraid of hard work. All of you said, put me to work. Right. Give me something to do. I want to make this city a better place. <laughs> and because of all of you, because of all of you, do you guys know that there was the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression these last four years? Because I know looking around, here's what I see. I see people saying, all right, I may have a little less than I did before, but boy, what I have, I want to share that. And what I want to share is not just money, it's not just things that I have, but it is my brain. It is my hands and the work that that can do. It is my feet, because I want to be out there. And it is my heart. And boy, did all of you share that in, in groves during this election. And boy, did the people of Fitchburg really feel exactly what all of us have put forward. So I want to thank all of you for your head, for your hands, for your feet, and for your heart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it right here. Right, this is barely registering. There's some numbers being thrown in my head. I'm like, I'm like, is that 355 to 294? Is that good? <laughs> but then I see my campaign manager Jenny go, yeah! Like, okay, I guess that's good. And I see my campaign consultant Nat O'Neill going, yeah, that's good. <laughs> like this. And then I walk into a room like this, and you guys are like jumping up and down, screaming and hollering. I mean, you guys do that a lot. <laughs> this time it was especially loud. So I can now feel it. I can feel it in here. All the work that we've done to put land in conservation to improve the environment, all the work that we've done to include people in neighborhoods who didn't even know that we have a mayor, never mind that they could actually step up, talk to all of us, be part of government, and make a difference for themselves and for the city. Boy, have we done a lot of work with the schools. And I want to congratulate Sally Cragen. She was knocked on like 5,000 doors with me four years ago. About 4,000 last year and probably like talked to 12,000 people. This I don't even know, but she's done so much work. And somehow she still continued to, to do the work on the school committee. And we have done so much. And who's benefiting? The kids and the community. Yes. So, what does this mean? So tonight, I invite you all to celebrate. And invite you to, I don't know, tell me how your day went. <laughs> and I invite you to all go to the story because this is not just about celebrating what we've done here in terms of this mayor's race, but what we've done in this city. 
I cannot remember, and I've been here for well over a decade, and I know many people have lived here their entire life. Somebody said, I've lived here for 63 years, and I cannot remember when so much has been discussed during the election. So many real issues have been brought forward. So many people have become engaged in the community and the issues that are all important to us. So this is what we're going to celebrate tonight. We're going to go celebrate at the start. We're going to congratulate every single person that ran, whether they won or lost. Because those are the people that really made a difference in terms of getting the information out there and getting the word out there. And we're going to celebrate...